Hello everybody, it's Redbeard Anubis, and welcome back to another episode of LCPDFR. We are back, and we're with Officer Logan again in the 15th District. Our number is 1529, and we're driving the 2008 hey! Ford Police Interceptor Crown Victoria, or CVPI. Uh, as you can see, this is the skin I was talking about that actually, in my opinion, mirrors closer to Metro PD in Las Vegas. The ones we were using, not so much. This one, however, is very close. A couple things have been changed to make it lore friendly, of course, as you can see. Other than that, this is a very good model, very close to it. So we're gonna get this patrol started and we'll see what we can find out there. 1529, go ahead and show me 1041, 108. All right, this vehicle had to slam on its brakes and this other vehicle ran into the back of them. So we're gonna go ahead and initiate a traffic stop. Fifteen twenty-nine. I'm gonna be ten eleven on a silver color Vincent. Can I get a ten twenty-eight? It's gonna be South Frankfurt Avenue. All right, we're gonna exit our vehicle and go talk to him. Really, really, that was my fault. Got out. They're running. Suspect is mobile. Unit from Port Avenue. Fifteen twenty nine. Like so it showed me in pursuit. Oh, that means so. Vehicle is ten fifty. We're going south Frankfurt still. Well, this started off kind of interesting. This is Control. He's still on Frankfort Avenue. Subject is blue and red light, South Frankfort. Vehicle's turning. We're going to be making a left. Going to go East Coneside. 1529, I'm still waiting on extra units. We need to wait for extra units to get in before I can attempt the pit. Oh, vehicle is 1050, 1050 Columbus Avenue. We're now turning left onto Columbus from Kunzai. Vehicle is heading, We're going left. Going westbound Lamar Street. Westbound Lamar Street, head back towards Star Junction. Vehicles now turning left, left. Burlesque st Street, Burlesque Street. Vehicle has 1050 with another vehicle. Now we're going to be turning left on the back on the Kanzai. Looking for a place to probably to ditch here. But it needs those extra units. Suspect headed east on uh, Columbus Avenue. We got two other units coming. Hopefully they, hopefully they can uh, join in. If they ever get here. Fifteen twenty-nine. There's the unit. Fifteen twenty-nine. Vehicles all over the road. All. 1050 into multiple vehicles, North Columbus. We're at Quartz now. Vehicle's gonna be heading Quartz Street, Quartz Street. We have another unit with us. We have another unit coming in from the back. Vehicle has 1050, vehicle has 1050. Vehicle's now turning on to Frankfurt. Frankfurt northbound. 
15-29, I'm going for the pit. 15-29, pit not successful. Whoa, 15-29, vehicles headed, continuing. Frankfurt Ave. All right, we're gonna let them take care of it. They want them bad. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. 1529, I'm gonna be secondary again. We're gonna be East Bull, Baltock Street, I guess. Now we're turning South Exeter, South Exeter. Turning again, we're gonna be West Uranium. Vehicles turning again. Back onto Galveston. Vehicle is 10.50 into a bus. 10.50 into a bus. We're gonna be North Volux and Galveston. Because now making a left. The left band Wardite. What are you guys doing? Come on, go. AI is still better than five, I don't care what they say. Oh, jeez. Vehicle's not turning back. I'm primary, we're gonna be Galveston. I mean, stay primary, keep track of this. Gotta end this now. Vehicle's smoking. We're heading West Grubner. West Grubner, vehicle is 1050 with another vehicle. Now heading uh, Ivy Drive North southbound. Ivy Drive North southbound. Vehicle has 1050 to go bus. Jeez. A simple uh, accident, a short clear distance, and this. Person's taking off. Vehicle 1050 in its taxi cab. We're gonna go I drew, Ivy Drive. Wow. Silicon Street. What are you doing? Is there a movie stop? I think we're stopped. Put your hands up. She's been tased. They tased her. Hands. I see you, buddy. What the fuck? I'm gonna take you down. Okay, they got him. They'll take the arrest. I'm gonna get my siren. Jeez. 1529, code 4, 11015. Oh. My lord. All right, we're gonna go ahead and search. We're gonna go ahead and search the Vincent and see what was in it. Why she was running? No drugs were found. Vehicle had unpaid uh, registration. Didn't pay its registration sticker. It's been registered at one time, but no tax, no storm means uh, hasn't paid its registration. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get it towed. 1529. Can I get a 1051? My location. Tow trucks en route for the Vincent. Hey you, and we are going to go ahead and clear. They got it taken care of, and we're going to get out of here. We're going to get our cruiser repair back in the 15th district before we head back out. That was excellent. That was very well done. That was a long pursuit, too. 1529, we're going to be 10 6 for repairs at 15. All right, we are going to get our cruiser repaired over here. Oh, and here is the difference between the two cars, so you guys can see. Let's uh, let me park them side by side here. You'll notice some subtle differences. Like I said, it's close, but it's not exactly. Uh, it's based off Las Vegas Metropolitan Police. So anyway, okay. So here is this one, which is pretty much a replica besides making it more friendly with the icons and the back here we have pretty much the same thing 
the uh, dial 911 is different. The slogan is not the real slogan, as you can see. That's the actual real one. Uh, partners with the community, helping the community. It says Patrol LC instead of a number. Uh, there's no crime stoppers on the windows. Uh, light bar, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is a 2008 version anyway, so it makes sense that it would be slightly different. Let's, uh, let's get over here and look at it real quick. So there's a number on front, Metro PD on the Ram bar. There's no Metro PD, and it just says police. So as you can see, like I said, it is close, but not completely the same. We're going to get our vehicle repaired and get back out on patrol, though. Get maybe a call out before uh, the end of our shift today. That was a long pursuit, man. All right, vehicle has been repaired. Fantastic. 1529, go ahead and show me back. 10-8. All right, we got a uh, Landstalker here parked in the, uh, kind of near the bus stop and also by a fire hydrant. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, get the vehicle towed after running its information. We're not gonna even call ourselves in because we are going to do this and be active so we can get a call if one comes in. 1529, can I get a 1028 on a Landstalker? Gonna be East Topaz. Come back is uninsured. All right, so then they're not only going to get a parking citation, because that's just unacceptable. Though I would like to see the fire fire department break out their windows to get to the uh, hydrant. That's always fun. All right, 1529. Can I get a 1051 my location? All right, tow truck's here already. And we're going to clear it. That is a common problem around the 15th precinct is that hydrant. People love to park in the middle of that. So we are going to uh, help out any way we can and uh, make sure that vehicles are either sighted and or towed, depending on the severity of the situation. 1529, we're gonna be back 10-8, parking Unit citation. Support, a criminal resisting arrest on foot. Uh... Frankfort Avenue. 1529, room attaching. All right, we got a uh, fleeing subject. All right, he got him. Fantastic. Job. Job well done, guys. Job well done. All right, I'm going to let them take care of it. They're going to have a unit on the way to transport. Here they come. There it is. 1529, we're going to be back tonight. All right, we're going to head back into service and see if we can get a call out before the end of the night. 1529, go ahead and show me 97 code 3. All right, we got a subject with a knife who has been threatening people in the area. So we're going to head over there as quick as we can and render assistance. It's actually over in the 16th district, but we're available, so we're going to help out. Fifteen twenty-nine. We're going to be on scene. All right, let's go. There's a subject. Sir, LCPD. LCPD, sir. Stop. Subject's running. Sir, stop. 
Drop the knife. Put that knife down, bud. Put the knife down. Put the knife down, dude. It's not worth it. All right. 1529. We're going to be active uh, 10, 1070. We're going to be paralleling you to drive east. All right, sir. Put down the knife. Knife's out of his hand. Knife's all out of his hand. Sir, listen to me very carefully. I'm gonna need you to put your hands on top of your head. And don't move, okay? It's all right, bud. Just relax. Gonna go ahead and pat him down, see what else he's got on him, if anything. Knife's on the ground. Nothing else on him. All right, so we got an ID. We're gonna ID him. It's obviously not how it would go. He would go in uh, cuffs. Lanny, Merrill. We're gonna go ahead and run his information. 1529, can I get a 1027, 1029, and a Lanny, Merrill born 1129, 1970. What's going on, bud? Why do you got a knife? Why are you running around? What's the deal? Doctor Warrants. I don't know what's going on here. All right, sir. He's going to be placed under arrest for brandishing a weapon. Um, it's a misdemeanor charge, so we'll take him ourselves. So I mean, it's not too bad or too serious, but it's so serious enough to call in. I mean, some dude did have a knife and he was. Uh, brandishing it in public so that's not never good but um and he did run from us i mean i guess i could get resisting without violence technically but i'm not going to i'm just going to charge him for the brandishing weapon in public i didn't see anybody stabbed i didn't see anybody hurt no other reported calls of that so he just man with a knife so that's the way it's going to work all right, sir, take, step in the seat in the car, watch your head on your way in. All righty. 1529, I got one 1015. I'm going to be 1019 to District 15. We're code four on the scene. All right, we're going to head back to the 15th District and uh, get this gentleman booked in. We're gonna end our shift there too. Make sure he gets all booked in. I am liking this vehicle though. It's a very high quality model. Um, the skin has been lore friendly, so I like it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I definitely think it looks a lot better than the patrol skins per se. Yeah, because, I mean, they're like I said, they're close, but I don't know why. They, they just seem to be lacking. I don't know, maybe the person that created them wanted them to be, you know, different to the point where you couldn't confuse them. So it was his own thing kind of deal. But you can tell they're in the style of the Las Vegas Metro Police. You know what? I'm gonna give it to you. Freaking dude hit me. Two cops just sitting there watching. Actually, they're two man units, so four cops. Not gonna do it in anything. I'm transporting. Um, in real life, if someone hits you, you would definitely hit your lights and uh, get the action report, cite them for a short, clear distance, honestly, but this is fender bender. We would need it though. For that reason, we're going to beat the light with the yellow. And uh, we're going to go ahead and turn ever so slightly into the uh, PD here in the parking lot. 
then we're going to go ahead and drop this guy off and make sure he gets uh, booked in. All right, so the corrections officer as well as the booking officer is going to go ahead and take care of him and get him uh, booked in. And that's going to do it for us, guys. 1529, go ahead and show me 1042, 107. All right, take care, everyone. We'll see you on the next LCPDFR, and I'm happy to have this back up and working. Take care and have a good one. We'll see you.